Need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. That man, well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't. Truncheon, not the typical tool for a nurse. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself, build up a tolerance. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. The final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. Sounds sinister, even for a place like this. I wonder if they're very sturdy. I might borrow it. You there! I command you to free me at once! Huh? What was that? Is someone there? My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor bold. A certificate of appreciation from the Municipal Councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. A simple toolbox yet capable of repairing anything. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting.
R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly, John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. Looks like it's still operational. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. I can make out the names listed here. This should suffice. This should be enough to avoid unwanted attention, at least from a distance. Manufactured and packaged here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. from your skull with my <laughs> fabric burnt in the furnace. A jala beer, a traditional garment from Northern Africa. Garments of several dozen people at least. So you're Heidi. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. Good lord, how unsettling. The damage seems intentional. So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless.
An orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. These are the same crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. This is the same design as the one from London. I doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. This trip was prolonged and perilous. A bottle this sturdy doesn't break by accident. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. The stamp on this crate confirms it came from America. That's quite a distance to travel. Doors can be open for deliveries. Doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. The dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. But all the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. Time to find Hell's Door. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. for what they did to I believe I have found your friend. Tell me all you know about those funny... Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility. I found Hell's Door, the one that made the foreigners silent. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. The killer was strong enough and the
The murderer used his left hand to kill Hannah with a brick. The killer swapped Timothy's pills for cyanide. The faint almond scent is unmistakable. The killer was limping, but Abigail couldn't escape. Petter gouged at the wall, fighting for his life. Odds are he left scars on the killer, too. Well, it's clear that it was a multiple murderer. I'll send the profile to the police after we finish here. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. Heidi, there are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you... I found Hell's Door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's Door? Never heard of it. That's not true. You, Gerda, told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again! <laughs> Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's Door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of it. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stop...
Perhaps I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. Did a child make these? Or anything but average. Now, who are you? I think once a soldier, always a soldier. You grow weary of me already, Doctor? I was simply admiring your office, Professor. Apologies. While I am pleased you appreciate. Photograph seems recent. A commemorative photo album. Been a while since I've been in one of these. Good Lord, that's a lot of records. You are Mr. Wolf. I'm sure I can take a look. Gags do to you. Excuse me? Uh, who are you? Oh, never mind. Hello again. You won't remember me, but Sir we've lesson. met before. Put down what I dictate. Dear Professor Gygax, I bitterly regret that I let my beautiful alpine flower fall under your influence. I see now that you never deserved to sit as the director of the Black Edelweiss. You are not, as you so claimed, the future of the Edelweiss. One of the patients asked me to deliver this note. It's for Professor. Close, but I don't think this is the key. Mm -mm, this is too small to be what Holmes asked for. A 
An Edelweiss relief about two inches in diameter. This must be what Holmes was after. Nothing special about this. The writing is mostly gone. Phonetic symbols, perhaps. A wax cylinder. There is something recorded on it. The tooth of an adult male, likely lost in a beating. The inside of the cuff is worn. It's been used often. Judging by the remnants of blood and flesh, these instruments were used for dismemberment. Dear God, is that... body parts? Utterly inhuman. been recently used. Dynamo machine provides electrical stimulation for the person in the chair. Full grain leather straps, impossible to escape. A very professional brain dissection. Elevator, how ingenious. The pencil is buried deep all the way to the brain. Instant death. No traces of blood on her clothes. Must have got on her white overcoat. The patients here wear the same robes. Heidi, how did she, it, end up here? We'd better inform the local police about this. You're right, Watson. But first, we need to determine where our case goes next.
We've got what we needed, what...